despite the fact that many states have legalized marijuana, marijuana at the federal level still remains as a Schedule One drug. We have to keep that in mind. That has done a couple of things. Um, a good thing is that it has decriminalized uh, marijuana, and that's a good thing but it has also normalized it. From that perspective, um, it, it has posed uh, different challenges for us. So marijuana, or as we in public health tend to call it cannabis, but young people tend to call it uh, marijuana, or weed, or tree, or broccoli, lots of terms for adolescents now in using these products. There's similar concerns to marijuana use as what we would see with electronic cigarette or tobacco and nicotine use, in that marijuana is an addictive substance, the THC. And again, with adolescents and the developing brain, anything you introduce into that brain that's an addictive substance is going to change the brain and make them more likely to become addicted. So I worry about marijuana for mostly that reason. We also know that smoking or vaping marijuana, which is commonly done nowadays in either vapes, or using marijuana into the vape pens, into Juul, into other electronic cigarettes, or in the form of blunts, which are cigars with the tobacco pulled out and the marijuana put inside and smoked. A lot of adolescents don't realize that that actually is a dual product, that they're not only smoking marijuana, but they're actually smoking nicotine and the tobacco. And so they're really getting the double whammy, so to speak, and not only more likely to become addicted, but they're getting the harms of both products. What my hope is, is that we really work with our young people, if they are going to smoke marijuana, to not smoke marijuana until they are grown and that their brain is fully developed and um, that they learn other ways of coping with stress and anxiety rather than picking up, picking up weed. What we're seeing more often than not with young people are a concentrated form of marijuana um, that are sold in little cartridges that they get from dispensaries, sometimes online, and these are a lot more potent. The traditional marijuana plant that you might buy on a street might be 20 to 25% THC content. A wax or dab or a cartridge that you can get from a dispensary can be upwards of 80% THC. So young people are getting a more potent version of it, so many times they're getting a lot higher than they would because they're consuming more THC than normal. It's showing up in middle schools and high schools, so we have to be aware because as we're normalizing the use of marijuana, young people are in turn normalizing its use also.